Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shemi Al Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles of great mills who not do rule well. Salutation to the men of the whole plan, Sensei Elect. This is a brother Makaza from a train that camp. Just want to do a little edification for you, like sake. And the name of this lesson would be Nail It to the Cross. Nail It to the Cross. When I say Nail It to the Cross, I'm talking about the old man. That old man, you know, that, you know, before you come into the truth, when you are in the world, you know, that old nigger that you once were, you know, you, you put him to death coming into this truth. So you become a new man. All right? You become a new man and a new lump, a holy lump. All right? So in this truth, you don't walk around with that old guy with that, with that extra load because it just burdens somebody. It's not going to profit you. As the scripture says, the flesh profited nothing. It is the spirit that quicken it. All right? And just like Paul said, though my outward man perish, my inward man is renewed day by day. All right? So you have to let that old man die because that old man, that old man will cause you to be left behind. All right? That old man will cause you to be left behind. This is Romans chapter 6 and verse 1. It says, what shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? It says, Yahweh forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? So you can't live any longer in sin. You have to be a new man living a new life. It says, know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Yahweh Shem Mashiach were baptized into his death? It says, therefore we are buried with him in baptism unto death. That old man died. That like as Mashiach was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. So we have to walk in newness of life. A new man. A new creature. Alright? The scripture says every um, man in Yahweh Shai is a new creature. Alright? It says, for if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we also shall we also shall be we shall also be we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection all right we shall be also right as we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection and as we waiting for we waiting for that you know that that day when you have a shy comes with healing in his wings and take us up and we're gonna be changed all right it says knowing this that our old man this is the punch. Our old man is crucified with him. And the body that the body of sin might be destroyed. And henceforth we should not serve sin. Alright? So the old man was crucified. That is why the name of this the, the lesson is nailed to the cross. That old man was nailed to the cross. Alright? So now you've been made into a new man, a new creature. Alright? That you wouldn't live. In sin any anymore. All right. Um. Boom, boom, boom. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Just bear me one second. Let's look fit here. my bad is um chapter five not chapter four this is second corinthians chapter five and verse um i'll go straight to the point verse 17 it says therefore if any man be in mashiach he is a new creature all things are passed away behold all things are become new all right so we become a new creature all right all things are passed away that old man that old man died all right, that old man died to the cross. If you are doing adulteries, if you are doing any, any, any thiefing, if you are envying, if you are malicious, if you are covetous, if you, you know, as the scripture says, such was some of you probably committed homosexual acts. All right, because that is that is our norm in this kingdom that we're living in. All right, you you leave that at the door when you come inside. All right, you leave that at the door when you come inside. The all, the all that, that 
those wicked things that you did and you were you leave that aside if you were um a proud man all right you get rid of that pride coming inside if you were vindictive if you were you know malicious that you know that you you did you know evil t t towards others you know you you leave that you become a new creature all right that old man died you're not supposed to refer back to that old man to say well this is how i am no this is no longer who you are that old man is no longer who you are he died he died coming into this truth all right so you have to nail him to the cross if if you if you you know pass six months and you in this truth and you still you know referring to the old man to your present self then guess what you 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 need you need to you need to really do some soul searching all right because you're no longer supposed to refer to that old man as though he's still present all right you're not supposed to all right first corinthians chapter 9 and verse 24 it says know ye not that they which run a race run all but one receive the prize so run that ye may obtain run that ye may obtain don't just run for running sake run that you may obtain and every man that strive for the mastery mastery is a crown a rooted crown it says it's temperate in all things now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown but we an incorruptible it says i therefore so run not uncertainly all right so fight i not as one that beat in the air like you know you're boxing but you're, you're you're missing all your you're missing all your punches you're not getting to land any punches that is you beating the air all right so when you're in this truth you have to make sure that you you, you land those punches meaning that you know you, there are times that you're gonna slip there are times that you're gonna fall but you have to pick yourself up you can't just be doing wickedness and wickedness over and over and over and over and expecting that the lord wouldn't jack you up all right that means you haven't put that old man to death you have to grow you have to the scripture says desire the sincere milk that you may grow thereby one thing with a child as the scripture says foolishness is bound in the heart of a child but the rod of correction drives it away one thing with a child they do a lot of foolishness growing up but when pain when 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 they start feeling pain like let's say like they might see a pot or or, or an iron you know and it, they, 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 they're curious so they want to know what it's about and then they go and touch it and then they get burnt then they realize you know what don't touch that again so they learn they learn through by by experience so if you come in this truth and you like a little child you're not learning then guess what then you just holding on to that old man because the old man refusing to let go or better yet you refusing to let the old man go all right verse 27 it says but i keep under my body and bring it into subjection all right when you look up the word subjection means to beat black and blue so it's like you as i always say you hold your body in a in a in a, in a spiritual headlock to control it all right to control your body it says lest by any means when i have preached to others i myself should be a castaway all right and you don't want to be a castaway you don't want to be a castaway if you want if you don't want to be a castaway cast the old man away all right if you don't want to be a castaway cast the old man away put away all those worldly dealings all right the scripture says the night is far spent all right put away the, the the works of darkness romans 13 the day is at hand walk in the day all right put away your unclean ways as yahweh shai said in matthew 13 in luke 13 and 3 it says nay but i tell you except you repent you shall all likewise perish turn back from your wicked ways all right this is second ezra chapter 7 and verse 55 it says and the faces of them which have used abstinence shall shine above the stars so if you use abstinence as the scripture says in james 4 and 7 resist the devil and he shall flee from you if you resist because that is what abstinence is about resisting all right resisting them worldly urges all right if you use abstinence then eventually your face will shine <sighs> 
Because when Yahweh Shai comes, Yahweh Shai gonna put into that glorious body. All right, jump it on to verse 57. It says, Then answered he me and said, This is the condition of the battle. So it's a battle. We fight in the flesh, war against the spirit, and the spirit, war against the flesh. All right, which man that is born upon the earth shall fight? So we, the scripture said, Yahweh Shai called you to be a soul, yeah. No man that wore it entangled himself with the things, with the, with the affairs of this life. Right? That if he be overcome, if he be overcome, as the scripture says, let not your iniquities um, weigh you down, nor let them puff up itself. Alright? That if he be overcome, he shall suffer as thou hast said. The scripture said, the day of doom is upon your unrighteous generation. It says, but if he get the victory, if he get the victory, means you overcome, means you strive for the truth unto death, means you put an old man to death, you nail him to the cross, he shall receive the thing that I say. And where is that thing? This is Second Ezra chapter 6 and verse 23. It says, Whosoever remaineth of all these that I have told thee shall escape and see my salvation at the end of your world. So you're going to receive, that is where you're going to receive. You, if you when you receive the victory, you're gonna receive salvation and be part of the first resurrection. But to do that, you have to put the old man to death. You have to nail him to the cross. Put away that old man. All right. You fasting and praying. You and praying. You put away that old man. All right. Nail him to the cross. The final precept here. This is Matthew, one of my favorite precepts. This is Matthew chapter 24 and verse 13. It says, But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. So if you endure the battle, if you endure the fight, and you fight against your flesh to keep it under subjection, fight against your mind to keep it under subjection, to keep the devil under, sub under subjection, then guess what? You will be saved in the end. All right? You will be saved in the end. All right, but you have to put that old man to death, nail him to the cross. Don't tote, don't carry him around. All right, so with that, I hope it was edifying. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahaba Shemel Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles of great mercy and do rule well. Salutation to the men of the whole plan since I elect. This is Brother Makaza from the Trend.com saying Shalawam and stay strong. Shalawam.